I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Wednesday morning, the 24th of January, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off in the first book of Peter, chapter 4, and one verse, verse 3. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lewdness, lust, drunkenness, revelries, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. Wow. Enough. No more. An empty, fruitless, worthless waste of time. We want to thank the Lord that Peter was such a wonderful example. He wrote this letter. He knew all about it, doing things that we wish we had never, ever done or said, causing a lot of pain and suffering unnecessarily, making a fool of ourselves at parties and getting nothing out of it. Now, the Peter, the big fisherman, would know all about these wasteful things that are done. Yes, the blasphemer, the party animal, as they say, but no more. I want to tell you a story about a man who came to one of our Mighty Men conferences. He arrived on a huge, big, very expensive road motorbike. I think it was a Harley Davidson, beautiful bike. He set up his one-man tent, and he cracked a bottle of Dimple Hague whiskey the first night he arrived. But the next morning, he got up to have another drink, and three young men walked past him, three young, handsome, godly men. And one of them had a cross around his neck, and they stopped, and they came over to him, and they said, Sir, we want to tell you that Jesus loves you so much. You know that he poured out the rest of that whiskey out of that bottle. He broke down. He wept. They prayed for him. His life was changed instantly from an alcoholic to not touching another drink. That same Peter, that party animal, when he met Jesus Christ, he said, get away from me for I'm an evil man, Lord. But the Lord used him to head up the church. Do you know that the legend goes that when Peter was caught and eventually crucified, he asked them to crucify him upside down because he said he's not worthy to be crucified like his Lord. If we love Jesus Christ today, there must be a change in our lives. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.